Now, we've told you many times on this program about the increased use of GPS devices to track and surveil American citizens. And now there's one environmental activist who stepped forward to Wired magazine after she found a GPS which had been placed under her car courtesy of the feds. According to Wired.com, this method is becoming a very common way for feds to track anyone they deem suspicious or a potential threat to our country, depending on if you actually consider environmental activists a threat, but whatever, I'll move on from that one. Now, part of the reason this method is becoming so popular is because it's really simple to carry out when it comes to surveillance. Not only does it save law enforcement from using extra manpower to track these suspicious persons, but it's also a great money saver for them, too. All the feds have to do is install their GPS device under a suspicious person's vehicle, usually with industrial strength magnets, and the device is going to communicate through satellites with the feds' headquarters where they can keep tabs on your every move. And in fact, Wired called on Kyle Weens to do some reverse engineering and take apart a tracker that was handed over to Wired in hopes of raising awareness. Check out how these devices work. This blue wire inside that was connected to this PCB is the connection for the GPS receiver. So what we've got here is this is the transmission circuitry for telling the FBI where you're at, and this is the circuitry for figuring out where you are. This looks like very expensive assembly that you wouldn't see in a consumer product. Very interesting antenna. This thing is pretty large and, and designed clearly to uh, get the best signal possible as you go under a bridge or something. Everything inside this unit is watertight, as you'd expect if you're mounting something that's going to sit underneath a car for months at a time. All right, so now that we have a better understanding of the technology, let's discuss the legality of GPS tracking. Although there are several instances where those targeted have taken their case to court, it's always been decided in district courts, leading to different rulings in different states, and therefore, no national yes or no on the legality of the practice. However, a lot of people out there are speculating that these GPS devices will become the center of major privacy court battles and will most likely land before the Supreme Court before you know it. In fact, the Obama administration is hoping to overturn a ruling by lower courts, which states that law enforcement officials have to obtain a warrant before putting one of those huge pipe bomb looking trackers on your car. So let's just hope that the Supreme Court isn't going to side with the president on this one. Up until now, a majority of those being tracked with these devices are being targeted for being activists. In one specific case, simply because the victim was Muslim. That was the case of Yasser Afifi, who we interviewed here on this show. And we should also note that as of now, there are no requirements by law enforcement to share their data or their statistics about how often these devices are being used and under what conditions the GPS devices should be placed on cars. So in other words, there is no regulation whatsoever here. Not to mention, many don't know if the data collected is accurate enough to even be used successfully in court cases. So until the feds get their agenda straight, these GPS devices shouldn't become the go-to technology to keep tabs on anyone deemed suspicious. So hey, FBI, how about doing this the proper legal way? Get a warrant, investigate ethically, and leave all these unnecessary spying features out of it.